Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to install Laravel Passport and see how we can use it in our application. So if you go to the documentation of the Laravel, uh, just search for the Laravel Passport and going to installation. All you need to do is just reference, uh, install it with Composer. If you copy this command, we come to our application, paste it here and install it. I just install it right now. I have done nothing else. Uh, all you need to do is after that, run the php artisan migrate but you should know when you run the php artisan migrate it is going to migrate the tables that that is related to laravel passport so there are some tables that they can store client access key in the database it means that, as i said in the previous video the laravel passport is not only for api requests like it is for api requests but basically it is for large applications but for our for our application also we can use the jwt uh, feature of it i mean for large i mean uh, if you have seen like big applications you can use their api if you are going to use uh, api of facebook you need an access token you go and you register your app and then you need an access token we will later talk about that one when we discuss how we can uh, uh use the login using facebook to our application or using google plus we need an access api so if you are developing any application that is going to need that source of feature or functionality you can use laravel passport to handle it for you so before you run the php arts and migrate they expect you that you have some table to store the user access token but laravel uh, passport they have by default some mm, tables by default you can use them what you can do is just run this command if i copy this one feel free to read the documentation but this is that if you are not going to use the default migration you have to write this one in your app service provider so what we are going to do is we are going to use their default migration you copy this one coming to your application just paste it here and enter and publishing complete once you complete the publishing all you go to your migration if i refresh it i should have to see some new tables but it didn't put anything here so the other thing that they have added if i go to my changes here i don't see any changes but they have to have our migration so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run the php artisan um, the laravel passport install first if you copy this one this command will create uh, some of the access API but if I run this command it is uh, it should give us some error because we do not have the table if I run it encryption key yeah this is going to give us an error that we do not have any auth client table in our database so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this command first if I just oops I didn't copy this one I should have to clean it first and then you run it yeah it has uh, install all the tables these tables are if I just come to the directory here sometimes it did generate the tables here but for now it is not displaying if I go to database migration they just do not display it here because that is a package and it uh, I think they have stored in somewhere in the packages directory so as you can see it has migrated all the tables for us next up what you need to do is install it now run this command I come here and then again I paste the code mm, okay migrated not found oops if I copy this one sorry for the command line because sometimes the command line they, they, they just do not work the way we want so I will paste the code and install it this time it should not give us any error yeah it has successfully generated our encryption key and they say that the personal information has been successfully created but the thing is like you have to store them somewhere so you can copy this one for now I will just open a notepad and save them here because you cannot have access to them later they are the secret key you have so far so you can save it somewhere in your application so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it in the desktop here I will just give it the name of passport information so this is fine for now 
maybe you need it maybe you don't but for now we just have it here so i will close all the unnecessary file for now and like the documentation they say if you are going to use them anywhere in your in any model for example you say that your user model needed like you you want your user model to be limited so all you need to do is just input it in your user table in your user model i will come here here is our user model i will import it yeah you right use laravel passport laravel uh, passport then it has has api token you just import that and inside this user table all you have to write it this line of code and yeah no notifiable is by default you can put comma and this uh, has api trait here so this is fine for now if i come down what else you need to do is they just give you that you have to write the routes related to them so what you can do is you can write the routes in your app service per uh, in your auth service provider so i will come here in the providers here is the auth service provider all the way down the policy you import this one plus you have to import the level passport and the, at the top so i will come here and paste it all the way up there so this is fine for now if i save it this is almost done and the next thing you have to do is like you have to change the driver of api from by, by default to passport so where is this you go to config auth if i come to the config and here is the auth so basically by default the guard is going to use the web and the password uh, for the user if i come down uh, here is where we are going to use the api so the api is not token it's going to be passport you save it this is fine and what else yeah here is written that they have a very nice front end uh, quick start for with the laravel uh, with the vue.js so what you can do is you can just run this command it's going to create some vue.js component for you so that you can have access to them so if i come here to the console and paste the code copy it sometimes it cannot copy i don't know why it happened so if i run the command it is going to publish some component for us i will collapse all of this let's go to the resource asset js to the component oops we don't have if i refresh it and close this one yeah here is another folder called passport they have created and inside the passport as you can see we have three components here so these are basically vue.js components so if you take a look at them you can see the code they have written so i'm not going to touch them you don't need to touch them so what you can do is all you need to do is use this component if i come to their documentation again all you need to do is just put them in your app.js for now we uh, all you need to do is just put them for for testing purposes otherwise we don't need them uh, i mean we don't use them mostly but i will add them in our application so maybe later we we might use them so we put them here and now what you can do is you can uh, use them anywhere in our application so they are also using the global component creator like in view you have now you have access to them anywhere in your application so if i come to here what i'm going to do is besides profile i will add another link to link to any other component for developer so what i will do is first of all going to the view layout here is the master so i will come all the way up here is the profile it will finish up here what i'm going to do is duplicate this one and instead of the um, above profile i will say developer what you can do is you can do any you can put anything you want for me it is just fine i will write something here and then we don't give it any color and i will set it cogs so let's see if it displays some nice icon for us here it does not put any icon if a yeah we do not have if a in front of it so uh, the, the other thing is like it should go to the url of developer 
and it is going to use the view router link now we will come to the JS what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another URL here here is the dashboard I will duplicate this one and write developer and this is going to go to developer that view component I will create it now uh, here is the example what I'm going to do is uh, or maybe the dashboard any of them would be fine like I will save it and write it as a developer that view and now we have a developer component here what I'm going to do is instead of the yeah I will remove some of this content for instance this should take 12 column and it should not have a card I think yeah it is fine and then we will come to Laravel passport I will copy the three component and I will paste it here so far it is fine I am going to the file and say save all it should save everything and it should run oops I think we do not have if I go to the bash one no we do not have the npm run watch I will run it it should compile it quickly once it is done now you must have access to this the URL we want so if I come here and refresh the page I hope it works just fine these are not necessary for you to do but because of the tutorial purpose I just want to show you how this thing is going to work so if I click on the developer it is going to show us the components we have we had three but one of them is hidden so far um, because we do not have any client and these are not of course I said these are not necessary for you to do because what you can do is you can create a new OAuth client here by OAuth client I mean you can click on this one you can give any application let's say you give any name here so let's say test and you give a URL and you say that after someone requests your name it should go to let's say a callback URL any URL you can give it if I s click on the create oops this is not a URL so we are we are not basically using this one so I will close this one what you can do is you can have a personal access token so if I click in this one you can give it a name let's say we use it for testing and you create it now under this it should display yeah you have your key here if you are uh, testing your application you can use this key but for our example we are not the only one who is going to use this application so other users uh, I mean you you might uh, have like a social network if any anyone log into your uh, to your uh, application here then you want your uh, application to work just fine so on that case what you can do is you can use the JWT that we have in Laravel passport so that is what we are going to add in the next video I, I hope it has been informative for you and the video gets a little long the thing is you don't need to do all of these things but the thing is that you should learn how it is going to work and how you can use it in the future but basically it takes just uh, a few minutes to configure it with your application so in the next video I will review as well as I will explain how um, the JWT is going to work so thank you for watching see you in the next video